This is just a quick look at a method I've just uh, come up with recently for securing a circuit board down to um, kind of mounting a circuit board on this platform here. This is the kind of linear motion rail. I'm just finishing off some of the electronic parts and I've got a few circuit boards to mount. Um, it's the motor controller I'm using. It's a Polu or Polo, however you pronounce that, uh, brand device and it's um, a kind of small self contained unit. This will be on the board along with a small microcontroller circuit and these all need to be mounted on here. The, the One of the ideas I originally thought was print 3D printing some kind of case which would hold all these parts but it's kind of quite a long intensive process, something like that. Um, kind of you need to design and mount all the parts together and then think about how they might fit in. Um, and it's not really what I wanted for this case or this um, project, it's just um, more of a kind of just an experiment, um, testing for myself to see how things are going to work. So what I'm decided to do is divide everything into, uh, or divide this into two distinct components. So the motor controller board, which is this piece here, um, so it's just the motor controller mounted on a circuit board with a, a couple of connectors for um, kind of power data lines um, and kind of motor connections, things like that. It's pretty straightforward, but this. It's got to be mounted somehow. In the past, I um, if something's kind of being hidden away, I might use uh, sticky pads on the bottom just to kind of attach it down. But it looks a, it's a little bit crappy when it's being exposed like this. Rather than building some kind of case, I kind of thought, what options have you got to really kind of fix this down? And so in this layout here, um, it'd be nice to have some kind of bracket which clips over the, the sides. And for this device here, where it's quite a straightforward, quite a linear thing, you've got these kind of channels down the side. So I had a think, and I came up with this. This is a small little 3D printed bracket. And that is designed to fit over like so. So that's, um, that would then screw to the surface, pins it down, just kind of hold it to the surface. And it, it kind of came out as a, a kind of brief idea, but it's seemed really successful. Um, this one I, I kind of missed a little bit off, so I reprinted it to um, form this one here, which uh, fits over quite nicely. Um, I did have a few jumper wires in here, which I kind of forgot about when I originally came up with this, so I've had to put a few notches in there, um, but that's not a problem. Uh, I'll take that bit out for now because that's not fixed, but held in like that. That then screws down, and you got a really simply, quite nicely held board. The ideally, these um, supports on the side would be half a mil less than this, because at the moment there's a little bit of wobble. But I don't really want to reprint this just for half a mil difference. So what I'm going to do is just place a little piece of paper underneath the circuit board, pin down the sides like so, and you get a really lovely kind of um, tight fit in there. It's great. And so yeah, that's all this video was, just this uh, kind of really simple little idea I had a go at for mounting a circuit board to a flat panel, and I'm really quite pleased with how it turned out.